So this video is for all the people that are playing Fallout New Vegas on the PC and are encountering frame rate drops when they have multiple NPCs on the screen at the same time. Now, there's a couple ways that I found online to try and remedy this. Uh, one is by applying uh, an actual DLL file patch, and the other is by simply popping up the console and typing toggle emotions, and that'll disable the facial expressions for your uh, NPCs in the game. So I'm going to load up into Fallout New Vegas here. I'm going to be running it on high settings with VSync uh, disabled as well as anti-aliasing. And I'm going to do a three-way split screen, and we're going to compare you're just your standard uh, follow settings with uh, toggle emotions disabled as well as the DLL file applied. So we're going to kind of compare them and see what the frame rate gives us. So I'm going to use a video camera for the test so the fraps frame rates per second is a little more accurate than using it to record. So now that we load up into our split screen here you can see in the top left corner that is where the DLL file has been applied. Top right corner you can see that I am typing in toggle emotions to disable the facial expressions on the NPCs. And then the bottom center is just kind of your default settings for Fallout New Vegas. And you can definitely see that the frame rate is handling quite differently between the three. Um, down in the bottom your default settings it was dipping down to 16-17 frames per second there. Whereas with the DLL file, it really doesn't get below 30 when you have multiple NPCs on the screen. So between those two, you definitely have a huge difference. And as kind of moving around with the toggled emotions disabled, uh, you can kind of see that it still gets some dips. It's dipping down to 1819, but it's not as severe. So it does make some of it of an improvement, but not nearly as much as the DLL file would. So if you're playing Follow New Vegas on the PC and are having frame rate drops around NPCs, I highly recommend downloading and applying this patch. Uh, I've got a link here up in the top corner that you can click on to a video that shows you how to get it and apply it, um, as well as just a link in the bottom here. So uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you if you are having problems, and thanks for watching.